Lost a wire. Howdy friends, I'm Joe for those of you that don't know. Today, getting some weed eating done and I wanted to show you how to re-spool a, uh, a feeder for my weed eater. So this is a still, uh, a pretty heavy residential user. Got about four acres that I do every year. So I guess we should go through it. I push, push the sides in on the cap here and it'll pop off and then twist the spool out. Now the string that I like to use is Copperhead by the company Rotary. No, they're not giving me anything, but I've ran many miles of wire and it seems to work the best. So on this feeder, the auto feeders, most of them, you're gonna have two areas where you can slide in the wire. So, set it in there and I'll grab some pliers or something and shove it in there the rest of the way. Now if you look at the bottom of the the feeder it, it has an arrow and it shows it kind of hooking around there. So I'll start on the top side, hook around and just start spooling. I learned to throw that thing on the ground. I'll wrap it up until it gets close to these holes here. And you take the wire, hook it in the hole, and snip it. It holds it like that. And we'll repeat the process on the bottom. So the reason you start on the top is because if you did the bottom first, you wouldn't be able to wrap it because this guy would be in your way. So hook over, start spinning. Same thing, hook that. And then a good pro tip, since I do doing a whole bunch, I always keep a spare one in my pocket. And you can usually find these online. So what happens too is I go through these heads fairly quickly. So I'll have an extra head and it comes with the whole assembly. So the spool, the head, and the cover. And then I'll just have, I got like two or three of these hanging out. And I always keep one in the pocket so when I'm way out there, I'm not coming all the way back to re-spool my wire. To put the spool in back into the head, push it down in there and it'll catch just close. The wire that you have holding there will catch close to the areas where the wire comes out. And just kind of pull it over and into those slots. Push those in, clean off the head. Just like taking it off, I'll put the flaps on in there. Should hear some clicks. Pull the wire, get it out to about where it should be. Snip off just a little. Another thing that I do too on this is I'll sharpen my cutter here. It's real easy cutting. There you go. So get out there and get back at it. Mm -hmm.